Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Pat Gallagher. I have the honor of serving as Pitt's chancellor. I'm a two-time Pitt grad myself, earning my master's and PhD from Pitt in the late 80s and early 90s. And it's one of the great privileges of this role is to allow me to occasionally speak on behalf of the university. So today, on behalf of the entire University of Pittsburgh, I wanna welcome you, the class of 2024. This is uh, not normally how this event goes. In a normal year, you would all be up at the Peterson Event Center wearing distinctive t-shirts and showing your residence hall pride. And I would be joined by other university leaders and trustees in our full academic regalia to formally welcome you to Pitt. The event would have speakers and music and even some laser lights and would be followed by a picnic on the lawn. Well, to state the obvious, this isn't a normal year. And that's too bad because my speech to you at this time is really good. Well, I think so anyway. Uh, but it's also too bad because for once, the picnic weather has turned out to be just about perfect. In prior years, I would welcome you and deliver a key message that experience has shown is important to your success at Pitt. And while my normal message is not really appropriate for the unusual circumstances we now face, I'll give you the short version. The key thing to realize about a university is that it isn't a place, it's a community. That's really obvious with COVID because our community, uh, our campus has been so dramatically impacted. It's a special kind of community, one defined by a common purpose to create the open and supportive environment we need to learn to teach and to explore new ideas and make new discoveries. It's a community that values diversity. Pitt is quite possibly more diverse than anything you have yet experienced. Yet that enormous diversity is an asset. It makes us stronger by bringing the widest variety of ideas and perspectives into a place where they are supported, shared, and fostered to enrich all of us. The community is nurtured by our shared commitment to defend it. Being a member of this community comes with many privileges, and it also comes with associated responsibilities. We must support each other. We must actively defend against those things that disrupt or destroy this academic community. And the Pitt Pledge that you will recite later is a statement affirming these shared responsibilities. You belong to this community. In fact, you were hand-selected to be here at Pitt. You are all exceptional, and we want you here not just because we think this will be the best environment for you, but because it is our belief that you will make Pitt a better place for all of us. You have resources and help. The primary role of the more than 14,000 faculty and staff at Pitt, myself included, is to support and enrich this community of learning. That's why we're here. Please use us. And finally, you probably don't yet feel like you belong to this community. That's pretty natural. But the only way to address it is to dive in, get involved and to do things. This part will be more complicated by the impact of COVID-19, but it doesn't make it less important. Because after all, learning is a social activity and with social distancing, you may just have to work a little harder and certainly in brand new ways to make those connections. To make this your university, to feel like you belong because you do belong. But now I want to openly acknowledge that this is a year unlike any year that, any, that Pitt has had before. And hopefully it will be unlike any year that will ever happen again. And this makes you pioneers in a shared experience that will be different from one that any other new student at Pitt has ever experienced. This has a downside and it has, I believe, a profound upside. And since I'm an optimist by nature, and want to end on a high note, let's start with the downside first. Here I need to share with you some cold hard facts about the situation we all now face together. The virus that causes COVID-19 is here and it will be here for the foreseeable future. We are operating PIT in a way that it has never been operated before. In this sense, you have an advantage over the classes that came before you. This year, every student is a new student. Some just don't realize it yet. Our goal is to maximize our mission to provide you a great Pitt education while ensuring that you and everyone around you is as safe as possible. To do that, we will follow the best medical advice and science. There is a lot of opinion and confusion out there. Everybody is an expert. 
We have some of the very best infectious disease experts and epidemiologists in the world, and we will follow their medical and safety advice, no matter how difficult that may be. Our primary approach is to minimize risk by preventing people from getting infected by the virus. If the virus can't spread, then people don't get infected and the dangerous risk of COVID-19 are avoided. We have to be in this for the long haul. Things can change fast. When things are getting worse, we will immediately impose new controls. When things are doing better, we can also allow more activity. The core strategy is very simple. If somebody's infected or potentially infected, stay away from them. This is why we have a testing program. This is why we're telling everyone that if they have symptoms, they need to self-isolate. This is why we do contact tracing to see who might have been exposed to a known infected person. And this is why you were asked to quarantine upon arrival. This virus is hard to accurately and reliably detect. So the second key part of the strategy is just stay away from everyone. This means social distancing and wearing face coverings. This means frequent hand washing and good hygiene for when we sneeze or cough. This means buildings and facilities that have been modified to improve air quality and to have fewer people inside. This is why there are restrictions against large gatherings, including parties, classrooms, athletics events. I know many of the things people associate with being at a university. As I said, this is not a normal year. The university has a role and you have a role. The university's role is to ensure that everyone has the information and the tools to be safe. We built a set of health standards to reduce the risk of transmission of the virus. We have modified the operations of every activity area of the university, classroom instruction, housing, food services, student services, libraries, athletics, everything, to define how we would meet those requirements. These plans are adjustable to the risk of the moment. We have three operating postures, high, moderate, and guarded, that each result in different restrictions. This is a circumstantial plan. We're going to be adjusting the operating postures and the restrictions based on the circumstances and on the advice of our medical experts. This will be less like looking at the calendar to see what will happen, and more like watching the weather forecast to see what you can do today. The bottom line is that none of this works if we don't all play our part. What is our role as individuals? You need to know the risk posture and what you can do and cannot do based on the circumstances. If you don't know, ask or check coronavirus.pit.edu. You need to adhere to the health guidance and recommendations all the time, not just when you're on campus. Wearing a mask, maintaining social distance, avoiding large gatherings, staying home if you feel sick or you have symptoms, you know the drill. And I need to share with you the very tough part of this message. These health requirements are not like recommending that you wear a helmet when you're riding a motorcycle or a bike. That's your head if you decide not to follow the advice. This is collective risk. We all pay a price. You may not feel particularly threatened by this illness, but don't make that assumption for others. A, a classmate or roommate or fellow student may have an underlying medical condition that you don't know about that would make COVID a very dangerous infection. Your professor may be at much greater risk of serious complications if they get sick. Your neighbors and others living in Pittsburgh may not want to risk their health because of your actions or have their businesses shut down to address a local outbreak. Your family may be put at risk if you bring an infection back to them when you return home or you visit. There are some who believe that college-age students are simply too irresponsible to follow this kind of health guidance. From their perspective, the university should know better and just shut the campus down. Don't even give you the opportunity to prove, or excuse me, give you the opportunity to prove how irresponsible you are. I completely reject this logic. College-age students are old enough to live independently, pay taxes, vote, serve in the military, serve in their country. I know that you can follow this health guidance. I completely understand that this may mean the experience you have here may not be the one you expected, but it will still be a valuable one. For this to work, we have to adhere to a social compact. So let me be as honest as I can. If this isn't for you, 
and you can't take on this responsibility, then please go home. Your actions will only be endangering others and you are not welcome on our campus. You can still take pit classes remotely and we will refund your unused room and board. No judgments. If you stay and then act irresponsibly, there will be consequences. You may lose your privileges to enter our buildings, use our services, and may face disciplinary consequences, including up to removal from the university. But if you can take on this responsibility and follow our plans and recommendations, this will be an unusual, but I believe a very positive experience. You will be welcomed here and supported, and we will do everything we can to ensure your safety. Now, look, I realize this isn't the message you wanted to hear during your welcome address, but you're not really getting much of a honeymoon to learn the ropes. But these simply are not the usual circumstances. We are glad you're part of Pitt, but we must ensure that this remains an option for everyone. So a little open honesty up front is called for. These restrictions and changes to the normal or typical of Pitt experience may be very unwelcome to you. After all, you didn't ask for this to happen. Believe me, I didn't ask for it to happen either. But this is bigger than all of us. In the middle of every great crisis, I believe there's an equally great opportunity. Whether you wanted it or not, you are living through history. A set of circumstances unlike those that any new student before you at Pitt has ever faced. In the midst of the great human need that this crisis has caused, you also have a chance to lead and make a difference on a matter of global importance in a way that no other student before you has ever had. This is a city and a region that welcomes you and would welcome your efforts to help and to contribute to the shared challenges we face. To those that embrace this unique moment, you can lead and contribute in ways that deeply matter. Pittsburghers tend to band together and roll up their sleeves to do the hard work of responding to a crisis or to adversity. For a new student seeking opportunities to try new things, meet new people, to make a difference now and not wait till graduation, this is a unique place and a unique time. So I guess my advice is still the same, <laughs> get involved. Do something that's bigger than you. Serve a great cause. Make a difference. This may not be the start of your college career that you dreamed of, but it can still be the one that changes your life. My message this year, own it. Once again, on behalf of the entire university community, we are so glad you're here. Welcome to our Pitt family. Please stay safe. And as you will learn to say shortly, hail to Pitt. Good evening. I'm Ann Cudd, Provost of the University of Pittsburgh, and I'm joining Chancellor Gallagher in warming, warmly welcoming you to the beginning of this new academic year and to the university I love the most. I also earned three degrees from the University of Pittsburgh in the late 1980s. I know what it's like to be a student here, to be a proud alum, to teach here, and to serve in my current role. I went away to pursue an academic career for 30 years and returned to Pitt in 2018 when I was named provost. And now it's my honor to welcome all of you, the members of the class of 2024. Sometimes I'm asked, what does a provost do exactly? Well, here's the answer. The provost is the university's chief academic officer, which means I'm ultimately responsible for your academic experience. The provost oversees the hiring and development of the faculty, approving degree programs, recruiting and enrolling students, and providing the facilities and resources for our faculty and students to succeed in their research and educational endeavors. I'm honored to serve in this significant role and to help you in any way as you embark on your Pitt experience. Each academic year begins with the excitement of formally welcoming new undergraduate students to the Pittsburgh campus into the Pitt community, including the class of 2024 and students who have transferred to complete their education. We've been doing this for more than 230 years. Over those many years, each class has made its own mark on this institution 
as I feel quite certain your class will. And perhaps more importantly, each class that we have graduated has gone on to make an even greater mark through their contributions to the development of your society, as I also fully believe your class will. Tonight, you take your place in this honored tradition. You do, do so in extraordinary times, but then again, you're an extraordinary class. You take your place in a time of great challenge, but also, as the chancellor just said, one that is filled with even greater opportunity. As part of our commitment to your ongoing growth, we will ensure that you have access to the tools, resources, and support that you need to fulfill your full potential. Over the last several years, the university has focused deeply on personalizing the educational experience of each and every one of our students. Pitt's Forge Your Own Path strategy prepares you for lives of impact by tailoring your educational experience to meet your goals and needs. Your advisors, chosen mentors, and Pitt's networks, like Pitt Commons, will help to ensure that you're supported and on track to realize the education you've always wanted. And then there is Flex at Pitt, which you've probably heard a bit about. Flex at Pitt is a reinvention of the instructional model during the pandemic, which offers in-person learning when conditions allow and provides faculty with tools and support to deliver robust teaching remotely when necessary. Pitt is uniquely positioned to adapt quickly and with the very best medical guidance. While we will start online, we look forward to in-person classes in just a few weeks. I also wanted to mention that every year at Pitt, we designate a common theme to unite all of our campuses. Last year was the year of creativity. For this academic year, it's the year of engagement. And I think this theme is incredibly timely given the pandemic. How we engage is especially important now during a time when we are learning, living, and working in a Pitt community. With students, faculty, and staff interacting with each other using a range of communication methods. One thing I've learned from the COVID-19 pandemic is that we do not necessarily need physical proximity to stay connected to each other and with our campus communities. Like witness this, this event right now as an example. But we are working hard to ensure that your pit experience will be pretty amazing. amazing. Don't just take my word for it though. In a minute, you're going to hear from current Pitt students talking about their Pitt experiences, their insights, experiences, advice, and ideas. I think you will clearly hear the themes of community, exploration, and inclusion, and the sense that everyone is at this university is dedicated to helping you succeed and thrive. Once again, let me say welcome to Pitt and we're delighted to have you here with us. Hail to Pitt. I would describe my Pitt experience as um, probably like metamorphic. As a first year, you are like a little tiny caterpillar and then when you graduate, um, you are a butterfly that's ready to take on the world. The sense of community that you can build with like-minded people here on campus is quite unparalleled. Um, I've come to learn that if you have an interest or passion, there is most likely other students, groups, organizations, offices, or departments that share those same exact interests. Eventually, when you get to the time of being like a senior like myself, you're not really going to remember the details of each individual class you took or every event that you went to, but you are going to remember and take with you the experiences that really helped you transform as a person. Whether it's doing research with professors or um, being molded by the experience that I shared with fellow student leaders or even just classmates. Every day that I just go to campus and I see like Kathy or anything, I just, I love every single second of it. Everyone really kind of takes their time to make sure that um, you're kind of 
as successful as you could possibly be. And There's just a lot of opportunities to really tap into your potential and you just have to take advantage of them when they're presented. And I can definitely say I've met a lot of amazing people that I know care about me and pour into me and I'm grateful for them and they definitely helped shape my experience at Pitt. When I got to Pitt, I remember literally some stranger, the first day I got there, some stranger was like, oh, do you go to Pitt? How are you? And just engaged in conversation on the middle of Forbes, um, which was something I never expected. And so just the openness and the acceptance of everyone, not just on campus, but off campus as well, is something that really transformed my experience at Pitt. The piece of advice that I would give to incoming students would be to lean into that sense of community. When you look at a community, you have people you admire, you have people that you think, okay, maybe we have some things in common. Your community is going to be the thing that builds you up, that gives you support, that makes you feel like you matter in a space. Looking back, I had missed so many valuable experiences just because I was feeling lazy. I'll get the next one. But every opportunity is um, one to put your name out there. It's great for networking. Get to know someone that can help you. Honestly, everyone here at Pitt wants to see you succeed and wants you to do your best. Definitely give yourself you time and to put a priority on your mental health. So it's going to be critically important that you're giving yourself and your mental health the attention that it needs. Make sure that you're scheduling that into your day. Take time to go for a walk, to do yoga, to meditate, or whatever focusing on your mental health looks like to you. But if you give yourself that time not only are you going to be better for it in the long run you're also going to be able to put in better work to whatever it is you're focusing on be aware that this campus community is an extension of society we are not separate and siloed from what is happening everywhere else in the world so you're gonna see areas that need improved and issues that need solved and it's easy to be a bystander but trust me when I say it's worth it to join in and fight for what's right you never know how much something can impact your time at Pitt and beyond. Um, and the more that you put into your Pitt experience, the more that you get out of it. So definitely be open-minded when you come to Pitt. It's important to realize like there's just so much more to us than what we do in the classroom. And it's really all the experiences that we have outside of the classroom that defines us. One thing that I really love that I think I would pass on to all Pitt people um, is this thing that I like to say where it's live the moment, seize the day, love every minute because there's only one today. And I think that's so true, especially just in the aspects of like what we're going through now, like not every day is promised. And so you just need to live life. If you make mistakes, that's totally okay because you can still H2P at the end of the day. Good evening, class of 2024. My name is Kenyon Bonner, and it is my honor to serve as your Vice Provost and Dean of Students, and to welcome you to your new academic home, the University of Pittsburgh. As you heard from the Chancellor, the Provost, and many of our student leaders, we're excited that you've accepted our invitation to become members of our university community. Whether you're on campus in our residence halls or joining us virtually from your permanent home, you may be experiencing a lot of conflicting emotions right now. So I just want to pause to acknowledge how this transition may feel to you. This may feel like a moment of loss when you say goodbye to former places and people, a moment of gain when you say hello to new places and new people, a moment of anxiety and expectation, of freedom and imagination, a moment when the horizon of your experience shifts and the adventure of your life's journey takes a new direction. Now, this is a pivotal time in your lives in so many respects. Not only are you beginning your college careers, but as the chancellor said, your generation is also being asked to begin your adult lives at a challenging moment in history. I'm certain that at times it may seem a bit overwhelming, some of you may believe, like I did when I first started college, that you're an admissions error, that somehow you've slipped through the cracks. Let me assure you all that you were admitted to Pitt because we believe you can be successful. All of you have what it takes to succeed at Pitt and to acquire the skills and strategies needed to master and apply the information you're taught in your journey of learning. It's also important to remember that you're not alone whether you're joining us in person or virtually, literally thousands of faculty and staff members are here to support you, to root for you, 
and to provide encouragement throughout your time at Pitt. We're all in this together. In a few moments, student leaders will introduce you to several of our traditions here at Pitt. The Pitt promise, the phrase hail to Pitt, the victory lights tradition, and the alma mater. And you will be given an opportunity to participate in some of these traditions right now, wherever you are. These traditions are part of what makes Pitt, Pitt. Academia is full of tradition and history. And these traditions tie us to all the generations who have gone before us. And they tie us to the generations who will come after us. Traditions help us remember who we are. And they help us to understand what it means to be a part, not only of the educational community here at the University of Pittsburgh, but also what it means to be a contributing member of the long history of academia. We look to you to help carry on these pit traditions and to add new significance to them through your individual contributions to scientific, artistic, and professional knowledge and achievements. Thank you. Welcome to Pitt. Take care of each other. Take care of yourself. Mask up and hail to Pitt. One of the most important traditions that we have here at the University of Pittsburgh involves all incoming students reciting and adhering to the Pitt Promise. The Pitt Promise is our shared commitment to upholding essential principles of the university. The University of Pittsburgh is committed to the advancement of learning and service to society. This is best accomplished in an atmosphere of mutual respect and civility, self-restraint, concern for others, and academic integrity. By choosing to join this community, each and every one of us accept the obligation to live by these common values and commit to its principles. As the president of Student Government Board, it is my honor to lead the incoming class in accepting the tenets of the Pitt Promise. Please join me in reciting the Pitt Promise as one of your first steps in honoring the legacy of the University of Pittsburgh. I will embrace the concept of a civil community which abhors violence, theft, and exploitation of others. I will commit myself to the pursuit of knowledge with personal integrity and academic honesty. I will respect the sanctity of the learning environment and avoid disruptive and deceitful behavior toward other members of the campus community. I will support a culture of diversity by respecting the rights of those who differ from myself. I will contribute to the development of a caring community where compassion for others and freedom of thought and expression are valued. I will honor, challenge, and contribute to the scholarly heritage left by those who preceded me and work to leave this a better place for those who follow. By endorsing these principles, we all accept the moral obligation to behave in ways and contribute to a civil campus environment and resolve to support the behavior in others. This commitment to civility is our promise to the University of Pittsburgh and its community of scholars. Thank you and hail to Pitt. is the title of the most traditional fight song of the University of Pittsburgh. The lyrics of Hail to Pitt were written by George M. Kirk and the music was written by Lester Milton Taylor. The saying Hail to Pitt is also the most traditional and commonly used slogan at the University of Pittsburgh. The saying is often used as a statement of affiliation and is often included as a closing signature in conversation or correspondence between members of the Pitt community. During your time at Pitt, you will see and hear this salutation many times. You might even see it written as H2P. When spoken or written, it is a symbol of our pride and our passion for our university, and it signifies our appreciation for our illustrious 233-year legacy. Now, when I say hail to Pitt as I'm signing off, you will then as a class say those words right back to me from wherever you're watching this from. And remember, that is our way of saying goodbye. So, class of 2024, hail to Pitt! One of the most noticeable traditions from all around Oakland is the lighting of the gold victory lights at the top of the Cathedral of Learning. 
The Golden Glow can be seen after athletic team victories, as well as other major athletic accomplishments like conference and national championships. According to Robert Alberts, our university's bicentennial historian, the goal of our founder, Hugh Henry Brackenridge, was to establish a school that would serve as a light in the forested wilderness. One of the reasons you chose the University of Pittsburgh was to seek enlightenment. You aspire to master a specific academic discipline and satisfy your intellectual curiosity. In many ways, we enter our cherished university wandering through the darkness of inexperience guided by our optimism, thirst for knowledge, and courage. As with many journeys through darkness, especially during this time of uncertainty, you may stumble, become weary or worried, and feel that the journey is never ending and unconquerable. But do not be afraid, weary or worried, and most importantly, do not feel that you are alone. Pitt is a community of caring and compassionate people who are committed to reaching back to help each one of you throughout your journey. We are in it together. Today, we pass on to you the light that has guided so many students before you to victory. Allow the light of knowledge to guide you throughout your time at Pitt and in your endeavors. It is our hope that you will illuminate the world. Welcome to the Pitt community and hail to Pitt. In Latin, alma mater means nourishing mother. The term was used in ancient Rome as a title for various mother goddesses. In the collegiate sense, alma mater refers to a place where a person was educated or the song or hymn of a school, college, or university. The University of Pittsburgh alma mater, or official anthem, was adopted soon after the university changed its name in 1908 from the Western University of Pennsylvania to its current moniker. Lyrics were written by George M. P. Baird, class of 1909, and were set to the tune of what was then the Austrian National Anthem, which was adopted as the German National Anthem in 1922. Similar to our National Anthem, our alma mater is often played or sung in a reverent fashion to open and or close various university functions. Our alma mater connects the Pitt family, past and present, creating a common bond to each other and representing affinity for our university. At this time, I would like to introduce our next video, which is the University of Pittsburgh's Men's Glee Club. The club, directed by Mr. Richard Teaster, was founded in 1890, making it the oldest non-athletic extracurricular activity on campus, as well as the first collegiate musical ensemble. As per tradition, everyone should stand for the singing of the University of Pittsburgh alma mater. Please note, they will sing the alma mater twice, the first time alone in its entirety, so you become familiar with the melody. Afterwards, I will ask everyone watching tonight to sing the alma mater for the first time together. Alma mater. students and for the first time sing together the University of Pittsburgh alma mater.
Thank you for joining us today as we officially welcome all of you to the University of Pittsburgh. This year has been challenging for all of us, not just for you as incoming students, but for everyone returning to campus this year. As the Student Government Board President, I just wanna share that we are all in this together and that the Student Government Board is here for you to reach out to as you begin your journey here at Pitt. As we end our official welcome, we would like to share with you for the first time the incoming University of Pittsburgh class photo. Good luck to all of you as we start the new school year and hail to Pitt. Hi, and welcome to the Pitt Class of 2024, Why We Hail, A Guide to Pitt Traditions. My name is Luke Profi, and I serve as the Vice President of Traditions for the Blue and Gold Society. The Blue and Gold Society is an ambassador program for the university that helps connect students, faculty and staff, and alumni here at Pitt for programs and events. As the new Pitt Class of 2024, you are now a part of our Pitt family. Today I will be joined by student representatives from the Student Alumni Association, Blue and Gold Society, Pitt Dance Marathon, Pitt Cheer and Dance, Pitt Band, and the First Year Mentors. We will also hear from head coaches Coach Narduzzi, Coach Lance White, and Coach Jeff Capel. Although we cannot be together in person right now, we can still hail to Pitt. I'm going to turn it over to the student director of the Student Alumni Association, Ashumi Rokadia, to talk about some of our Pitt traditions. Thanks, Luke. As Luke mentioned, my name is Ashumi Rokadia and I'm the student director of the Student Alumni Association. The Student Alumni Association is one of the largest student organizations on campus that is free and open to all students. During the new student welcome, you learned a little bit about Pitt traditions. Pitt traditions are an essential part of Pitt and it is our job as students to help promote and foster those traditions. As the newest class of Pitt, you are now Pitt tradition keepers. Let's go over a few of the Pitt traditions you learned today. I'm going to turn it over to a few of our first year mentors. Thanks, Ashumi. My name is Shereen. I'm a first-year mentor. First-year mentors are a resource for your transition here at Pitt. We are here to connect you with other resources and provide events to make you feel at home with your fellow Panthers. One of the traditions we talk about during the new student program is Hail to Pitt. Hail to Pitt is our way of showing Pitt pride in everything that we do. We say hail to Pitt in our cheers, at our events, saying hello to fellow Pitt students and other alumni from our hometowns, and even signing off on our emails. So the next time you see someone in Pitt gear, make sure you say hail to Pitt. You can also use our Pitt official H2P hashtag when posting on any social media. In our new student welcome, we also talk about the victory lights that shine on the Cathedral of Learning, or as Pitt students like to call her, Kathy. The Golden Globe comes on whenever we win a football game or any other athletic accomplishment, including our Panther Pride-inspired conferences and national championships. Victory lights are definitely a sight to see. It lights up the entire night sky, and no other university has anything like it. Hi, my name is Jovia, and I'm also one of your first-year mentors. I first want to welcome you to Pitt. We're so excited that you're going to be a part of our Pitt family. I'm here to talk to you about our mascot. The Panther was adopted as Pitt's mascot in a meeting of students and alumni in the fall of 1909. The reason the Panther was chosen was because it was a formidable creature and was once indigenous to the Pittsburgh region. Pitt's beloved mascot is generally referred to as the Pitt Panther, while the costume mascot is named Rob. There are a few Panther statues all around campus. Before a game or a final, stopping by is said to bring good luck to all of our Pitt students, faculty, and alumni. Next time you're there, make sure you grab a selfie. Next, let's turn it over to Pitt's PD and President to talk about one of Pitt's oldest traditions. Thank you. Hello, Class of 2024, and welcome to Pitt. I'm Niev, a senior in the College of Business Administration and the President of Pitt Dance Marathon. 
Today, the university will celebrate the 100th annual Lantern Night, one of our oldest and most beloved traditions. The first Lantern Night was held over a century ago, and today Pitt remains committed to honoring past achievement and striving for continued progress. We won't be gathering in person for our traditional Lantern Night ceremony, but we begin a year-long celebration tonight with the lighting of the Cathedral of Learning. Candles were delivered to your residence halls, so you could help us shine the light of learning across campus. Light it and place it in your window at sundown tonight. As more first students move into campus, our light of learning will continue to grow. And whether you're here on campus or not, share a photo on Instagram with the special 100th annual light of learning GIF. Find it on Instagram GIFs by searching Lantern Night and post it with the hashtag Lantern100. So you've learned a few important Pitt traditions. Something else that's important here at Pitt is supporting our sports teams. No matter if we can physically attend a sporting event this year or have to wait to the year 2021, we want you to be ready to cheer on our Pitt Panthers. Let's walk through some of our traditions, dances, and cheers that we do at Pitt sporting events. I'm now gonna turn it over to the Pitt Band Council President, James Boston, to get us started. Thanks, Luke. My name is James Boston, and I currently serve as the president of the Varsity Marching Band Council. The University of Pittsburgh Varsity Marching Band is in its 109th year and has been cultivating and supporting the traditions of this university for our Pitt family. We are at the football games, the basketball games, volleyball games, and you can find us on campus at various on-campus performances. One of our most storied traditions is the Pitt Herald Trumpet Corps, founded in 1958 and is the only tradition of its kind in the country. You can find the Herald Trumpets introducing both football and basketball games. And you can also find them guarding the Panther statue during our tradition called Trumpet Guard, which happens every Friday before Pitt home football game. Today, I want to talk about some of the iconic sporting traditions of the University of Pittsburgh. When the band plays the fight song and the alma mater, there are two separate parts where the band drops out and the whole stadium joins in. The first one is our Hail to Pit fight song. You'll hear in the middle of the song the lyrics, Grand Old Allegheny Ginak Ginak Ginak. When you hear those lyrics, pump your fist up three times on the Ginak Ginak Ginak. The other song is the alma mater, which you learned about during the new student welcome. Near the end of this song, the stadium will sing, Dear Old Pittsburgh, Alma Mater, all together. Also, during the football games, we will play the touchdown dance cadence, which has been a pit tradition for years. One, two, three, four. 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 What just happened? Let's go Panthers! Here at Heinz Field. Another unique tradition is at the end of football games, the football team and the students join the band in singing the victory song and the alma mater. The end of the football games are my favorite moments. There's no better feeling than singing the cherished university songs with athletes, students, and fans. Now that you know some of our traditions and dances, I'm gonna go turn it over to Pitt Cheer and Dance. Thanks, James. My name is Jesse Taylor, and I'm a part of Pitch here. I'm going to show you one of the chants we do in the stands at all of our sporting events. It's called the P-I-T-T -T cheer. It's simple. Let's try. P-I-T-T. P-I-T-T. The other cheer I'm going to show you is when the band is in between fight songs, we spell out P-I-T-T. -T. Let's see how it's done. P. One more cheer. And the Oakland Zoo, up and down they go. Thanks, Jesse. My name is Lexi Bloom, and I'm on the Pit dance team. Another simple cheer is our Let's Go Pit cheer. You will hear this cheer when we are hyping up the crowd or motivating our team. Let's give it a try real quick. Let's go Pit. Let's go Pit. cheer and dances. Let's turn it back over to Luke. Hail to Pitt. Thanks Lexi. We wanted to invite some special guests with us today to help us hype up our Pitt pride. Please join me in welcoming head coaches Lance White, Jeff Capel, and Pat Narduzzi. Pitt freshmen, we are so excited for you to join our Pitt family. 
There are so many awesome things about being a Pitt student, and we can't wait for you to bring your talents and skills to our university. This has been a really challenging time, and now as we go into a new era of what college will look like, we can't wait for you guys to be here, be with us, and be involved in our family. It's really important that all of you do your part to make sure that we can get back on campus and back here to the Peterson Event Center. We want you guys to be a part of it. In order to do that, we've got to make sure that we wear a mask, that we have great hygiene, that we stay socially distanced. Class of 2024, welcome to the University of Pittsburgh. It's great to have you as part of the Panther family. I'm Jeff Capel. I'm the head men's basketball coach. We got to think, we got to be smart, we have to have poise, and we got to make the right play. We are really looking forward to getting to know you. You guys are entering college at one of the craziest times in our country's history. I'm excited to get you guys into the Peterson Event Center, to our games, in the Oakland Zoo, cheering, going crazy, getting on the refs, but having a lot of passion for this university and for our program. But in order to do that, we have to follow all the protocols that are necessary to make that happen. All the safety precautions that our university has given to you, we need to follow those. Washing your hands, good hygiene, and most importantly, masking up. We look forward to seeing you and hail to pit. Okay, we're gonna put it on for 60 minutes, okay? Wait on three, one, two, three, man. Hi, I'm head football coach Pat Narduzzi and welcome to the University of Pittsburgh. On behalf of myself, our football staff, and our entire program, welcome to our team. We all know this year will be a little bit different than most, but like all good teams, we need to stick together and find a way to get it done this year. Regardless of how this year plays out, we look forward to your support. I challenge our football team every day to get 3% better. I encourage you to make the most of your college experience here at the University of Pittsburgh. Welcome to Panther Nation and hail to Pitt. Thank you coaches. Before we leave, we have to talk about one of our most prized Pitt traditions, singing Sweet Caroline anywhere and everywhere. But we bring a few Pitt twists to the song when we sing it. First, we lock arms with people around us and sway side to side during the whole song. Second, one of the repeating lyrics of the song is touching hands, touching me, touching you. And on this part, we reach out on touching hands, we reach in on touching me, and we reach back out on touching you. After the chorus, we scream, let's go pit, with three fist pumps in the air. We do this again after the lyric, I've been inclined. After the lyric, good times never felt so good, we scream, go pit, go pit, go pit, with three more fist pumps. Go pit, go pit, go pit. After the lyric, warm, touching warm, we reach out our hands and rub them together like we are starting a fire, then reach them back in and out for another rendition of touching me, touching you. Lastly, after the lyrics, we fill it up with only two, we chant and point with our fingers, or three, or four, or five. Every time a Pitt student or alum hears Sweet Caroline, you will find they will sing the Pitt version instead. It is a tradition that will continue and it connects us to the past, present, and future students. Now you know some of the important traditions and cheers at Pitt. You can learn more about the Pitt Blue and Gold Society, Student Alumni Association, Pitt Dance Marathon, and first year mentors by going to the Student Activities Fair or following them on social media. I want to give a special shout out to the student representatives and head coaches for joining us today. Always remember you can hail to Pitt wherever you go. Thank you for tuning in and hail to Pitt.
Congratulations, you've earned OCC credit for attending this event. Take a moment to pause the session and scan this QR code or enter the link into a new web browser. It will allow you to submit for OCC credit, Pit Pride.